welcome back to my channel. So today is my first video that I am filming since being back from Japan and Sydney Fashion Week. I had the best time on both of those little trips. I've been gone for two and a half weeks and I had so much fun, but it's also so nice to be back and kind of into my routine and back in my space. So I will leave a link to my Japan vlog in the description if you've not seen it. Also, don't forget to check out my Twitter and my Instagram because I've like uploaded a whole bunch of photos and whatnot of the two little trips. So today I thought I would go ahead and do like a haul of all the things that I purchased, not only in Japan, but also some of the things that I purchased while I was in Sydney. So if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you do and let's get started. So I'm gonna start with everything that I got from Japan first and first up I have a couple of accessories, two pairs of earrings. I don't know what made me buy these earrings other than the fact that they just look weird and they're a little bit interesting. So the first two are these kind of hoops that have this black shredded torn denim like looped around them with a little bit of the denim like hanging down at the bottom. I, I just think these are so cool and I did wear these with an outfit at fashion week and these ones are for pierced ears and then these other ones are kind of like just I don't know like uh, how would I explain this? It is gold sort of half circle shapes up the top with all of this orange thread just hanging underneath it. These ones are actually clip earrings so if you don't have your ears pierced these could work and I got both of these while I was in Japan. These ones I found in a little underground kind of boutique in Harajuku and then I also found these ones in a boutique thing in the east part of the station like the JR station at Shinjuku um, in one of the stores there I think this store could have been called jeans or something but I just bought some really fun sort of costumey accessories that I could wear with outfits when I went to fashion week and I love them and I feel like I will keep wearing these because they're very cool next I have some more accessories I actually bought three pairs of shoes on this trip I don't know why anyone in their right mind would buy three pairs of shoes on a trip but I did so these two are from a store called Rando which app is, seems to be everywhere in Japan um, the first one are these really cool slides that have this super like frilly suede type fabric on the top. I just thought they were really interesting. As you guys know, I tend to buy clothing items and fashion items that have some sort of interesting detail to them to kind of make them a little bit unique or just, you know, interesting to look at. So I got these ones. The sizing there is a little bit different. So I got these in a medium and I'm normally like a 37. And the other pair of shoes that I got from Randa are these ones here. They're probably about an eight centimeter heel and they're suede as well with just a simple stra uh, strap across the toes. But the interesting detail that I really liked around the ankle strap was that it has these five um, tassels along the front of it. So there's two black ones, two grey ones, and then a brownish grey one. And because I like grey so much, I just thought they were really interesting. Again, some interesting detail to kind of create character. The really cool thing about this though is that they don't actually like um, hook together like normal shoes would with where you put the, the thread through and you like pin put the pin through it. It's already done and all you have to do is just kind of hook it over this little metal bit here so you don't actually have to like undo them, you just kind of unloop it. It's really weird. I've never seen shoes like that before, but I just thought these were really interesting and fun. So the weather in Japan was a little bit hotter than I was expecting. Like I checked the forecast before I left and I was like, oh, it's pretty much the same as Melbourne right now. So the first couple of days were kind of cold and then towards the end it was so hot and for some reason 22 degrees there felt like 26, 26 felt like 30 something. So I only had two t-shirts with me and the rest I had like a couple of long sleeve shirts and it was just too hot to wear them. So I bought a couple of just plain t-shirts with a little bit of a pocket and a v-neck. I've got a dark grey one because I don't own a dark grey one and this one is from Gap actually they're both from Gap um, and the other one's just a plain black one with a little pocket tee. I just find t-shirts and jeans so easy to travel in like they're just so casual if you get cold you throw a jacket on if you get too hot you take the jacket off. So easy for travel and I find yeah jeans t-shirts and sneakers for traveling the best outfits. So I also went to a Zara while I was there because the Zara's and like the Forever 21's and all of those kind of chain stores are so different in Japan compared to what they are here. I'm not sure if it's because it's in the Northern Hemisphere and whether this stuff is in like all the Northern Hemisphere stores or whether it's just something specific to Japan but I just wanted to have a look in there and I found some pretty cool items. So the first one is this green striped kind of collared shirt outfit thing. I think I mentioned this in my trends I will and won't be following. I've actually managed to buy myself one of these off the shoulder um, button up shirts. So it's in the green stripe and the shoulder, the, like the collar part doesn't sit up here, it actually sits about here. And then it also has these like gathered kind of puffy sleeves which is another feature of like tailored shirts that I really like and then it just has buttons down the front so I love this and then I also got some culottes these were like just a random one-off find that were just on a rack and I didn't actually like know where the rest of them were so 
Um, these ones are kind of like a stretchy knitted fabric and then there's this really cool lacy up corset detailing around the top of it and these sit right up under my boobs so they're like supposed to come up really really high and look like I've got a corset on and then the legs just kind of flare out. They are also cropped as well so they kind of come to just like the lower part of my calf but I really really like them and I think they're really cool and really fun and they should be really nice to be able to wear to events because I've got the cool detail of like the fake corset thing on the front. Also while I was there I bought a new pair of jeans really really didn't need to I have way too many black pairs of jeans I think black jeans are the one thing that I own way too many of because I wear them pretty much every day and I just hadn't had a chance to wash any of my clothes for about five days and I ran out of jeans and I was like it is not happening I'm gonna get some new jeans so I went to H&M and I just picked up these like basic I don't even know what they're called but they're just like really basic simple jeans the pocket on the front isn't very deep I just scared myself there's a bit of fluff from my fluffy blanket on the back for them and I thought it was a spider that freaked me out anyway um so yeah I just got some plain black jeans there's nothing exciting here and it's the one thing that I will allow myself in my wardrobe to own millions of because I wear them literally all the time and then I did go to a Forever 21 when I was in Shinjuku because I did spend a whole 24 hours in Japan by myself and I did a lot of shopping on the second day. I went and bought my brother a whole bunch of like, um, like one piece merch and just, you know, kind of did the souvenir thing and just had a bit of a look around. And I saw this adorable little like tote bag that's got Catronaut written on it that I thought was so cute. And I actually took it to the supermarket today and used it to put my groceries in. It was only like a few dollars or something, but I just thought it was so cute and so silly. Again, Forever 21 there was so different to Australia. It was so much better. Like they had so many cool things and they just had like a section for every possible kind of event that you could think of. And I really wish our Forever 21s were like that because it was amazing. The last thing that I got while I was in Japan is this tiny little notebook and it's probably not very significant, but it was kind of cool to see like the legitimate Daiso and like the Muji stores. Like I love Muji here, but it is so expensive. And in Japan, it wasn't as expensive and I'm kind of regretting not like going and searching for some makeup storage. But in all honesty, there's no way I would have fit it back in my suitcase. But um, one day, Rachel and I kind of got ourselves into a bit of pickle and we had to wait two hours in this tiny little town for a ferry so I went to the supermarket or like a little convenience store and picked up this little notebook from Muji it's just a lined notebook and I just started planning like my life <laughs> like I forgot my big planner so I just kind of was like you know what I'm gonna get a notebook plan out a bunch of video ideas plan out some like blog posts because I am going to be starting up my blog again so I'll have a link to that in the description but there's nothing on it right now because I'm still in the process of typing and writing things up but I just thought I would, um, instead of wasting two hours, actually make myself a little bit productive and feel like I've achieved something. So I got this little notebook and I'm assuming that because it's from Muji, you can probably get it here. I think once I finish this one, I'm totally going to go get another one because I like the fact that it's just brown, you know, brown paper bag looking and it's a great little notepad that I can take around with me to kind of do some more planning in more detail than my actual, like bullet journal. So when I was in Sydney I picked up another three things. The first one is this little bag with a long strap here from Strandbags. Um, Marikai I think might be the brand name. This was on the sale rack for $17.50 and I was like score. It just is like a plain little black bag that I can take out at night time with me um, that actually has a strap because none of the bags they have like are, they're all clutches that don't have straps so I thought this would be pretty cool to take out with me and I also love the fact that it's not just your regular square bag it has this little detail like on the side so yeah I thought that one was a really good like little find because it's only $17.50 and now I've got a little nice going out at night bag next I got some shoes like the third pair of shoes and the third pair way too many for this entire trip like seriously <laughs> anyway um, I got these ones from Bellini um, in wanted shoes and they are the kind of suede pointy toe heel with a strap around the ankle and then the little bit of like the plastic or whatever it's called around the sides which I really really like I love how these shoes look on I've got them in a bunch of Instagram photos so you should definitely check that out but oh my god I love these shoes I totally had a big problem though is this little bit here that you put the strap into completely fell out the morning of the day that I was wearing them at Fashion Week so I had to get a needle and thread and then try and sit there and um, thread it back by hand which was so hard because trying to like 
push through that many layers of fabric and plastic was so hard by hand, but I managed, I survived, I didn't break, they haven't broken again. So hopefully they stay in place, but I love these shoes and I think they're so cute. They also came in nude as well. I was going to get them in nude originally, but they didn't have my size. And then I decided on black and I'm so glad I got the black. Next, I have a leather skirt. So it's really weird. I never really wore skirts in summer and now all of a sudden that it's winter, I want to wear dresses and skirts. So weird. So I got this leather one from Forever New because I had a voucher for there that I returned something and they wouldn't let me have the money back. So I put it on a voucher and I've been waiting like two months to be able to spend this money. Um, and I decided to get like a little leather skirt. I feel like these these little skirts are so cute They're so on trend right now, and they're totally great for winter This one kind of has this cool like overlap almost frill detail across the front Which I really really like and I did wear this to one of the days at fashion week And it just looked so cute with my little heeled boots and my cat is biting my foot. Can you not please? I'm trying to film. I know you want attention, but just give me two minutes Anyway, so yeah, I loved this little skirt from Forever New. And then I did purchase one more thing, but uh, nails and tights don't really go well together, and I kind of destroyed two pairs of the sheer tights with the spots on them. I'll pop a pick up here. I'm so gonna buy more. I feel like these tights are gonna be a thing for me this winter. I've never really worn tights since I was in like school. So this is like a weird winter for me because I'm now wearing skirts and dresses and tights. Something I've not done in a long time. So, um, the little, yeah, sheer tights of the spots, something I'm totally going to get into this winter, which I really love. And yeah, I'll insert the picture here so you can see it. If not, go to my Instagram. I've got lots of pictures. It's all good. But yeah, so those are the few things that I purchased while I was in Japan and Sydney. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like I said, there is a vlog in the description to my Japan trip if you're interested in seeing some of the things we got up to. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. And up the top here, you can check out my last video down the bottom. I will leave a link to another one of my haul videos and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!